Hello everyone. In this video, we want to show you how we can convert the surface load to uh, frame load in SAP 2000 software. As you can see here, I just uh, created, you know, a grid system. So it's up to you. So any grid system uh, you can create it. But here, just I want to show you how uh, simply we can, instead of you know calculating the uh, frame load for, for example, this bay, simply I can assign the, you know. Uh, um, a shell element but with the properties of none and then so apply the load let's see it so I can go to uh, quick frame uh, drawing so from here uh, sorry let me go to the first floor so here I want to create this bay and this way okay and also I can go back to the one of this view I can go to the uh, YZ view is much better and from here also I want to create the columns here 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 and here okay so at the base so I don't need this beams so I can come to the XY view and also from here you can see the Z equals 3 or also from the right hand side you can see the uh, the level which is highlighted once your cursor is here okay so I can go down with uh, 3 meters and then I can remove this beams as you can see here selected and then simply you can press delete on your laptop keyboard or computer keyboard okay now I have this model and from here I want to just uh, go to grid system and from here I want to hide it okay let's see we have this uh, in this tutorial, I want to show you how simply you can uh, create a panel which is actually, you know, shell element with the uh, properties of none and then so we will assign the area load and then we will consider, you know, the direction of the area load uh, in such a way which means we want to uh, load this members okay it is the first option the second option here again we will go for same scenario so again here I will create this uh, panel and then for this one I will distribute the load in this direction which means in this way we want to have this member you know to be loaded okay so it is the case that we want to go through so let's do it now. So I can come to this view, go to a 3D view. Let's go back to just a standard view. I will go to the uh, here, first of all, okay click on the uh, shell or area object or drawing and from here select none because here you know by default you have some properties if you go to the define properties here if you go to the area section see here you have two options the first one is the you know default option and as you can see here you have the a thickness of 250 mm or 0 0.25 meter so if you assign this section so which means you have some stiffness and definitely uh, you know the self weight of the uh, of the section will be calculated automatically by the software which is actually we don't want to do that just we want to consider the uh, you know the panel load to be converted to frame load so it is the thing that we want and here we have none so once you click on the none, so you don't have any option, you know, to modify it because, you know, this uh, element uh, doesn't have any uh, stiffness 
thickness, nothing. Okay, it is just the, you know, um, object. And uh, it is useful for us, you know, to just distribute the load or surface load to the uh, frame load. So that's why we are going, you know, to use this option, none. Okay, so I will go to the, uh, again here, I will go to the draw uh, uh, poly area. And from here, I will try to just, you know, draw this, as you can see here. And same thing here, I also want to draw this. Okay, as you can see here, I have two options. Okay, the first one, let's say I said it is the first, and this is the second option. So for the first option, I want to distribute the load here. By the way, here I have actually, you know, six meter uh, span for each span. And again, as if we want to calculate this, if I put, you know, uh, one kilonewton, if I uh, put, excuse me, if I put one kilonewton per meter squared here, so then simply I can calculate the uh, frame load or line load to be assigned to this member. So for example, here, same, if I assign kilonewton per meter square. So then for assigning, you know, the load to this members and to this members, so simply I can calculate just like this. So I have one kilonewton per meter square times here I have the, you know, uh, tributary area if I want to show you, so here I have one tributary area, and here, and here. So for this one, so it will be three, correct? And then, so here to here will be six. And this tributary area is related to uh, this member. Okay, same thing here, I have six meter, and again here I have three meters, which is this three meters tributary area is related to this member. Okay, and then I can say that one, which is the, you know, the surface load, one kilonewton per meter squared, times how much? Three meter, if we want to calculate for this, you know, the first uh, member. So I can say that times three. So then it should give me the three kilonewton per meter. For the second one, which means this, so I have the six meter, as you can see. So then it is one times six, it becomes six kilonewton per meter square. So, and then, so simply we know that here, you know, it takes six, six kilonewton per meter. Here also six kilonewton per meter. This one will be three, and also this one will be three. Let's look at uh, this and then uh, we will show you later. Okay, so here I can go back to this view, and then here, as we said, so I'm just, you know, going to apply one kilonewton to both of this panel. I will go to assign area load, and here it is the case that you have uniform to frame. Okay, you need to select this option. Select this op option, and then from here, I will just, you know, uh, choose the let's say direction of the load, it can be gravity. So if you select the gravity, you don't need to put the negative or minus because already, you know, it's in the gravity direction. And, uh, but if you select the Z, so here you need to put minus one. Okay, so I will just, you know, select the gravity and then I don't want to put any minus or negative value and then apply. Okay, so here, as you can see, I apply this minus one to this panel. Okay, so now if I go back to display and let's see what we have here. So in the display option, so you, you need to come to here, uniform load to frame resultant. Okay, and then here also I forget to tell you, let me, sorry, if I once again go back to here, assign, go to area load, and then here you have the uniform to frame. So here also you have the load distribution, one way or two way. Okay, so we selected one way. 
and I will go to display and here I have the show object load assign go to area and from here you need to select uniform load to frame resultant and from here also you can select the one way and then apply okay see here you have actually you know the direction of the load but as we said so for the first case let me just redraw it for the first case I want to load this members correct and for the second option I want to load this member okay so how can I do that so for the let's say for this one so I don't have any problem so which means fine but I need to change the direction of this load to here to be loaded by these frames okay I will just go back here the only thing that you need to do is just you know select the shell element this element and then go to assign before that go to here go to display option so from here I can show you the local access apply okay see here in sub 2000 we have actually you know the uh, uh, local uh, coordinate system so here uh, we have the red color green color and blue color okay so the red color is x local access green is the y local access and blue or this sky blue is z local access so the thing is this once the x local access is you know just directed in this way so which means you know the distribution of the load should be or is in this way so which means it just you know distribute to this frames and this frame because of this you know the first uh, local access which is the x local access so the only thing that i need to do here also i have the same thing i need to change the location of the x local access direction so to this way to here okay so i need to change it to this direction so here should be x and then automatically you know this frames will be loaded okay let's do it so just i will select this frame i will go to assign and from here i will go to the area and here i have the local access so you need to rotate this local access by 90 degree okay by default by default is zero okay so right now if i just you know put zero see here nothing is changed if I just say 90 okay see right now the global axis just rotated by uh, sorry the local axis just rotated by 90 degree and right now I have the X local axis direction in this way now once again let's go to the display option and then go to the show object load assign and go to the area and from here again you need to come to uniform load to frame resultant one way and then apply so now you can see the difference okay guys it is the thing hopefully you enjoy the video and uh, play please uh, stay tuned to get more tutorial and uh, you know tricks on different software thank you so much and have a great time